Hey, what's up? So, the Vin Staples show, and if you're like me, you probably ask yourself, who the hell is Vin Staples? Because I didn't know who Vin Staples is until Netflix started to push this show, like, for the last few days, because I'd watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I'd watched uh, other comedies, and they were like, always when I went on Netflix, it was like, Vin Staples, Vin Staples, because you watched, because you watched, we recommend, because you watched. So, I caved i gave in and here we are so this is perhaps one of my favorite shows 2024 one of my favorite tv shows up to now it's produced by vince staples and uh kenya Barris. and when i saw kenya Barris, i went like oh, okay we are getting another black af or blackish kind of feel but this was kind of different uh the basic way for me to put this show to summarize everything that i've watched in terms of tone is think of Atlanta or Dave, then think of Blackish and Black AF. Black AF and Blackish are mainstream comedy that focus on the intrigue, you know, the, the experiences of the black people, but more of middle class going upwards. It focuses on the challenges that focus the black people, but it doesn't really go into the absurdity of it all. It, it basically feels like a normal life of a middle class black person. African-American person. Now, Atlanta, on the other hand, my, my general feeling of Atlanta, since I watched season one and two, I've always felt like Atlanta captures the absurdity of uh, the black culture, but instead of using it to elevate the story, it uses it for shock value, you, you know, to make it stand out. It's, it's being extreme, not because it adds value to the story, but because it makes you stand out, it makes the show stand out. Now, between those two, between the, you know, conventional, uh, normal comedy, black people, middle class, uh, blackish that you're used to, and the absurdity and the extreme absurdity of Atlanta, we have this little show called Vince Staples. Vince Staples is perfect in that it captures the, you know, the experiences of black people, but it the extreme of it is grounded it's a kind of extreme that you would see on your daily life i assume in america because it felt more re realistic the absurdity did not come out of uh we need this to be shocking or we need this to look different is yeah you probably know someone like this this person is up is absurd and extreme but you probably know someone like that you probably know relatives like that you probably know Facts like that you probably know a best friend who happens to be a criminal like that and if they were to rob a bank and you were there that is more likely the kind of conversation that you both of you would have so basically for me this was this show is the sweet spot between blackish and atlanta captures the extreme captures the extreme and absurdity of black people but still is grounded and accessible to people who love sitcoms so Let's talk about the show itself. How, it, 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 it's a mini series. It has like five episodes. And so far, I love all of them. I love how each episode feels different from the other. Yes, they're stick together, but they feel absolutely separate from each other. They are themed. Each episode has its own theme. Each episode has... It's, it, it's just like your ordinary sitcom. The difference is that it's very... There's a, there's a dose of creativity in this show that you don't see in most sitcoms. In the writing, in the performance, in the edit, because the editing is very, very smart and they don't, you know, they don't conform to what we are used to when it comes to TV. It's around 25 minutes. Uh, each episode is very short. Uh, my favorite episodes are the family. Uh, wow, they, they have this cookout, this family meeting. Or, or, or on a park and everyone comes through and then the mom has her own issues with something and she is in cahoots with you know her, her daughter-in-law and so you have this drama of just Vince Staples extended family so that was pretty interesting because in that you can actually see some people that feel and look like people that you actually know some of your relatives there are some that you feel that are a bit extreme but when you look at Vince Staples and you learn about him and you learn about fame, and then you look at his, uh, particularly his uncle, and what it means and what it meant for his uncle during a particular time and what happened to him, 
And then you look at the character and then you look around yourself. You'll find that, yeah, you have that one person who became successful and something happened and then the family began to treat. And then you have the family fights. I also like the opening uh, opening episode. It's laid back, but it's it's more of a jail story. You know, they go to jail. This is spoiler free. I'm trying, I'm, I'll not, I'm not going to spoil it for people, um, but I'm just going to brief, give a brief, you know, skeleton look at uh, the episodes that I actually liked. By the way, I actually liked like all episodes. I don't know why I'm doing this. I, I actually found that I cannot tell you which episode was stronger, but remember, I, I can only talk about memorable, memorable moments. There is a moment where they go to a park. It's called the Red Door. The episode is called the Red Door. They go to, they go to a park. It's not Disney, but it's something that you can take your kids if you don't, you cannot afford. I, I think there's something like that in the United States when you can afford, when you cannot afford to take your kids to Disney. There are these smaller parks within the neighborhood that you can take them that are affordable, but they have their own issues. And so we follow him as he tries to navigate. It's his, I think it's his girlfriend's his girlfriend's small brother's birthday and so he has to accompany her with the kids to that particular park and so there are a lot of things that happen there but for me it's the mascot if you've seen the show you know what I mean <laughs> he brushes his shoulder with the mascot and then they have that weird moment throughout the show and it it comes back to haunt him at one particular period so this is a show that I would highly recommend and if it, 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 it does not, it has not, it, it's so centered on Vince as a character that it feels like everything that is happening is something that happens to him. It's less of, yo, let's look at how absurd black people are. It's more of, look, look at the people that, look at how absurd the people that surround me are. are. You know, look at me and then, and then follow me as I show you just how absurd things around me happen. So I felt that it was more of that. It was more of following this one individual and trying to follow in the footsteps of his life. I don't know if it was real life, but I suspect that it might have been fiction. So basically that's it. This, If I was to give it out of five, I would give it a 4.5 out of five. It's a very, very good show. It's short, it's on Netflix, and it's super funny. Yeah, if and it's not that humor that we usually look for, you know, the basic on your face kind of humor that makes you laugh. It, it, it's it's very, very smart, uh, relatable, grounded, but it's there if you listen well enough. So basically that's it. Remember to always watch what you enjoy and enjoy what you watch. And I shall see you on the next one. Please subscribe um, for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching.